get a pack out of deer today. So that's cool. And who knows, maybe Brian will even shoot one on the way out. Get one out of here and reload our food and come right back in, try to find another one. I think what one of the things that's got me excited is we noticed when we broke down my deer is he was pretty bruised up on his hind quarter. Most likely from fighting with another buck. And if there's another buck of that caliber in here, I think uh, I think it's worth a, a look to try to find him. So there's definitely going to be something else. We've seen some other big tracks and probably bigger tracks than than uh, what my buck was packing around. So yeah, go reload on food today and uh, come right back in and try to kill another stud buck. That's the plan. Oh man, it's cold out here. Lips are kind of chapped. Why? What is that, James? It's a raspberry bomb shot in a shotgun shell. Wow. Yeah, it's actually really good. Works really good. It's better than what you got for sure. Well, what do I have? You got Burt's Bees. This is bomb shot. It's a little better. <laughs> it tastes good too. <laughs> Anything that tastes good. Yeah, I've got Burt's, but I got to tell you, it's not really. Mine's, doing a lot on the old hers. lips made from organic bees it is it is it mine's bees packs. I looked it up. no it's not like portland <laughs> this pack is not light brian it's got a full meal deer in there it does we got a lot of miles to go today i just still think that chapstick has a manly quality to it uh but gloves don't Here's the kicker. Mm -hmm. I got the chapstick and the gloves. So what do you think about that? No chapstick, no gloves. <laughs> I'm on that train. Bam! Bam! The real man right here. On our way out, off of that peak, I saw what looked like a big bodied buck. Right now, this time of year, there's every bit of a chance that we shoot another buck on the way out very good chance i mean that where he is where you last saw him is right in our path to get out of here so we could easily see him and if that means we have to go a little slower on the hike out then so be it we don't have to just bomb back all these miles but it's gonna feel good to have that on your back it does yep it's the perfect buck for this country it's extra extra special so i don't know how many hours this is going to take us but we got a lot of food back at the i think i've got one bar and a baby bell cheese and that's it but we did just fill our bellies full of venison so oh but we got coolers full of food back back at the trailer all right well on our way out keeping our eyes peeled for buck number two, but we're gonna sweat a little. We gotta march. We've got a buck and a doe up here on this skyline. Just a small fork at horn. We saw him yesterday, but uh, we're just taking our time. We just saw a nice buck. Three bucks up there. We bumped him. We're kind of hoping they don't go far. But he was definitely on a doe. Um, pretty distracted by that doe. He didn't want to leave her. He came back. He got spooked a little, and then he came back and chased off a buck and got back on his doe. So nice deer. Is that this buck? I think 
like so. I don't like it. I don't like it seriously. Now. Well, that was a good buck. So, um, they winded us. He had another th smaller three with him and a hot doe. And they, they ran to the next state. But we're gonna get up on this ridge where we saw that big frame buck go. Um, he's the one I really want. And uh, we're gonna see if we can pick him up again on the other side. And Doe was totally hot. He was totally distracted. I mean, he got spooked and then he went right back to chasing her. So maybe we get lucky. We get over the top of this ridge, look on the other side, and then he didn't go far. I mean, he's just, you know, as soon as he got over to the other side, he started chasing off. There was three other bucks with him. Good, good bucks. And so it's very possible. As soon as he got over to the other side, he just started chasing those bucks away and following the doe and they just completely forget. It's also possible that they left the county and they are long, long gone. So we'll see, but this canyon's chock full of bucks and does, man. That was intense. Maybe we'll get lucky when we get on this ridge. Basically, we're gonna cross, climb up there, get to the top and look back. We had seen them just go right over that top. So hopefully they're right on the other side. Well, hiking out, of course we see a couple of good bucks. One really good one. And he went up over this ridge chasing a doe. Not sure where he disappeared to, but they just tuck into these folds. They could be anywhere. But we're just gonna kinda cruise along this top here. Let's see if we can't pick him up. Well, I found that buck. He's over around this ridge. But I had to leave him to come back and get the guys and get my pack. I'm hoping he's still there. Because he could disappear again. Alright, well, we got two bucks. One's for sure a shooter. It's the wide one I really liked. We got eyes on him. I found him over here. He's bedded. We're going to move in and try to kill him. Let's go, Ryan.
saw him, he dropped below the, the crest of the hill so we couldn't see him um, after I shot him. And right now, we never saw him leave the base and we think there's a dead buck right over here, but we haven't uh, seen him yet. So Ryan crossed over to the other side so he could get eyes and look across and I'm right here where, where the buck was and I'm just keeping an eye out if he stands up it's another two or three hundred yard shot and I should smash him but I think he's dead we just gotta find him I don't want to risk bumping him if I didn't make a solid shot um, This is the part that always makes you feel a little sick inside. I like to see him go down right in front of you. So hopefully he he's done for. But um, I was just sitting here uh, listening, <laughs> listening to the coyotes and the owls and... Well, James, he's dead. Is he dead? Yeah. Nice. He's a nice buck. Nice buck? Yeah. He was down there a ways, though. We were like, we got to turn back and get our gear and reunite with, with you. <laughs> man. Oh, dude, congrats, Thanks for man. filming, awesome. man. That yeah, was cool. that's awesome. Did you see when you were um, glassing down below? on that ridge there's a mm -hmm. buck staring right at you yeah at 12 o'clock yeah mm -hmm. i was glassing you and i could see that buck was just yeah. like standing there yeah i watched him for a while he's a nice buck there was that one in the bottom that looked heavy with with some crabby pinchers um never did see him don't know how big he really was but he looked big to me he looked heavy but uh this buck my, my buck is not he's just wide he didn't have a lot of time length he's not super uh He's not super deep forked or anything, but he's just wide. Really? He's got a beautiful frame. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I think he's just a three by four. Three by with four. eye guards. Yep, with beautiful eye guards. <laughs> <coughs> that's a plus. Love yeah. eye guards. So, yeah. Sweet. Yep. Well, congrats, man. I was kind of yeah. wondering what happened. It's nice. We, we're wrapped up. Now we just got to uh, get back down, get down there, store store your buck up here because we're halfway back to <laughs> back to civilization. And then, um, zigzagging all over the mountain tonight. Yeah, be a lot of night hiking. It's all right. I expect nothing less. <sighs> These trees are prickly. I'll do. <laughs> Here he is, James. You saw, you've seen a buck like this. Yeah, last year I saw. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive it's him. He was 
big and wide and old. Yeah, he's heavy too. He's kind of crabby. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he is wide. He's he's the biggest bodied buck I've seen, I think, out here so far. Not that I've got a good view of them all yet, but. just make him extra. <laughs> I make that thing look extra special. That whole buck. The first thing I saw when I saw him up there, I was like, okay, his neck and shoulders is just a lot bigger. Because there was four bucks and he's got a huge with him. track, like bigger track than most of these bucks back here. And there were a bunch of bucks with him at the, and uh, he was on a hot doe. He didn't want to leave her. He was all about her. He was the boss, you could tell. And uh, he got away from us and then found and relocated him again. And But I, I, when I was looking at him over there with all those other bucks, you could just tell right away that he was old. His body, he's just yeah. in another class. I was looking at his rack and I knew he was a three by four and I was like, eh, he's not like, he's not, uh, you know, like a high scoring buck, but I was like, that frame and the age did it for me. It's just really cool. I haven't seen, you know, very many bucks out here this wide. No, that's, that is exceptional. I've seen some boxy ones, mm -hmm. you know, like yours. I've seen some yeah, with some mass. Some that are like right at the ears, you know, they're 23, 24. But this guy, dude, what a freaking stud. <laughs> bigger body buck. That neck. Well. Let's, uh, I'll gut him and then, uh, we'll get back on him in the morning. Yeah, set up camp. Nice public land muley. Oh, yeah, he's pushing 29 inches. Yeah, he's probably right there at 29 inch wood. Nice. That's cool, man. With guards, Brian. <laughs> hey. That's pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Great buck. I love old bucks. Yeah. Well, got his guts out and uh, pulled the the uh, heart and the tenderloins out for dinner tonight since we don't have any food. We all uh, ran out of food this morning. Well, basically last night and we only ate deer meat today expecting to pack Ryan's buck out but then we got my buck so we're on a all deer diet right now and then we'll finish breaking them down in the morning and uh, we'll pack them out did you get that on camera? <laughs> that was all man right there I'm not going to tell you that Careful, that's how you lose a nut. I'll hurt my foot on the next one. <laughs> oh, I love fire. There's one meat stick. It's a good looking heart. Oh, 
took your time Don't live too fast Troubles will come And they will pass You'll find a warm arm And you'll find love And don't forget that There is a someone up above And be a simple kind of man And be something you love and understand Baby, be a simple kind of man Friends, thanks for watching this week's video. Uh, it's been awesome bringing all this content to you guys and the response that we get. It's been amazing. Last week we did that giveaway uh, with the Instagram DM IG story and the participation was cool. In fact, we're, we're going to announce that giveaway now, like who the winners were. In fact, uh, Ryan and I got such a kick out of it that uh, we felt like we had to give away more than just one thing. So yeah, we picked one person to get the rangefinder, but uh, we picked four more people in the group that we're going to give away some Mountain Ops Ignite for uh, just to say thanks. Just hit us up in the DMs with your address and we'll mail it to you as soon as we tell you who those winners are. And then um, we picked a winner for the comments on YouTube, which have been awesome. I mean, I can't say enough how much I appreciate all that. And we got some more giveaways this week. But before I tell you what those are, I want to let you know on next week's video, it's going to be a little different, you know. Um, it's actually the pack out from this video. I want you guys to tell me what you think about it because, you know, as we produce these films, sometimes we have footage that we want to bring to you, but it's not terribly exciting because you're not hunting and on a stock. It's just us kind of more or less packing up and and carrying this uh, our these two bucks uh, back to civilization. We got some kitchen home content. Um, cooking it out on the birch barrel and some recipe info and you know it's not your typical action-packed hunt but we felt like it was still really going to be entertaining for you so we're going to bring it to you next week that's that's what we're bringing and then uh then we're back in the action the following week after that with uh ryan's daughter paley uh getting her first her first buck and it's really it's an amazing hunt um, Ryan and I saw a lot of bucks on our hunt, but this hunt with Paley, we saw even more. So uh, I think you're going to really enjoy that. Yeah, so let us know what you think about that footage, um, if you like it or not. All right, before I announce the winners for uh, last week's video, let's talk about what we're giving away this week. We're giving away a pair of Crispy boots. Talk to my, uh, my buddies over at Crispy, and we've got a couple of pairs here. I'm not sure which boot we're gonna give away. Probably either a Wild Rock, which was what was featured in this video, or we're gonna give away a Nevada, which is my favorite boot, all around boot, the insulated or non-insulated, depending on the season. But the Crispy Nevada is my favorite. Um, the Wild Rock though, for those cold weather hunts like this last one, is my go-to boot, boot for when it's really cold. So all you gotta do to be entered to win uh, a pair of Crispy boots is subscribe like this video and leave us a comment and uh, again whenever you guys leave comments man it helps us really overcome the algorithms on youtube really pumps the video out there and gets it in front of uh, a lot of eyes so we really appreciate that and then uh, for instagram we're going to do that again we're going to do another ig giveaway share uh you know a link or, or just a picture or just recommend people go watch our video this week's video on your ig story and we're going to give away a stealthy hunter uh, rifle cover and uh, here's mine all banged up beat up on my Weatherby backcountry TI but um, this is a pretty killer uh, um, padded you know we bang the heck out of our rifles on our packs and being able to sneak and crawl with your scope all protected and everything up on those those bucks like we did on this hunt it's just it's just nice. So all you got to do to be entered to win the Stealthy Hunter rifle cover is, is share the video on Instagram, this week's video on Instagram. Don't forget to tag us, Brian Call, 
Uh, it's Brian underscore call and it's Stealthy Hunter. And uh, we're going to pick a winner next week for the rifle cover. Well, last week, y'all shared the Instagram stories and uh, they were so cool. We picked five people to win. And those five people are Landau Outdoors, Justin Garant, Joshua Stemrick, Christopher Brown, 1972, and Rogue Huntress 300. Um, there were so many. We, we were taking screenshots of every single one of them as he tagged us. And um, there were just piles to go through. And then actually had Ryan select the winners. I couldn't decide. And uh, those are the five. One of those five is going to get the rangefinder, And that is Justin Garant. And our winner for leaving a comment on YouTube is Brett Lawson. And uh, he said, guys, that was epic. Congrats, Ryan. And great videography, Brian and camera guy. Anyway, here's a just saying comment. Set up a stock bag that you can sling around your waist and go, complete with a light and warm shell. Maybe some hot hands, heat packs, knives, saw, and whatever else you would need to be a uh, just a tad bit more comfortable and prepared to hold out for the shot. Uh, I would bet you two got lathered up pretty good pushing in to get in position so when you got it, got to the, uh, the deer you had to lay there and freeze. The push-ups probably did more good for the heebie-jeebies than warming you up. Check out the Teamster method of warming up if you don't already know it. Works great as long as you can stand up while doing it. Thanks so much for your efforts. Loved it. So that's Brett Lawson. Uh, in fact, Ryan and I do have sort of a, a, a stock bag. Um, we often convert the lid of our pack into a backpack. During elk season, I did it a lot. We normally are much uh, more uh, careful about leaving our pack and a warm jacket behind as we go in on a stock, knowing we've been stuck there for an hour or two waiting for an animal to stand or give us a shot. So it was kind of a rookie mistake on that last video. Uh, but uh, it happens sometimes, uh, and we just toughed it out. So that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate all the support. Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you next Sunday.